and I have Ruti Mifakajijo. He's a stockbroker, a capital market an analyst. He joins me now to recap the activities of the market this week. Ruti, um, in, uh, in your view, how, how would you say the market has fared this week so far? Well, I think it, is, it has been a lot of struggle for the market. But I believe uh, with what is happening all over the world, we've seen uh, an oscillating movement of markets around the world. And uh, it's for our own market that's really giving a true reflection. Uh, for today, we will have ended positive, if not for the uh, major laws that we saw in Angola Cement and the uh, NTN. So I think the performance so far, even with the lockdown, I think it's still very okay. Have we traded more than 2.4 billion naira value today? I think it's still, everything is still in order. All right, Rutimi, but looking at how the investors are looking to the banks, we've seen that sector is up about 3.7% uh, so far. Um, I'd like to get your take on the bank. We're seeing some names here. We're seeing um, uh, Zenit Bank, Access Bank, uh, GT Bank, all coming up tops today. Yes, I think uh, to look at the, uh, the performance of the market, we need to look at it in a broad manner because um, if you look at the market breadth today, I think it's close to positive, uh, except for the huge loss that dwarfed what we saw in the banking sector as banking sector stocks actually had almost uh, a major move, uh, upward movement. So I think uh, for me, uh, a lot of things are changing. We have seen that uh, the oil price that had, it had to be uh, in the neighborhood of you know, $23 is now over $30 and still coming up and down 26 and all of that. So there is a lot of hope and coupled with the fact that um, Russia and um, Saudi Arabia actually giving it a rethink, and I believe that, uh, that if that rethink happens, then a lot of negative sentiment that we see post lockdown may not really uh, be as heavy as, uh, it is, uh, as it should be. All right, now let's look at MTN today. Um, we're seeing that that stock is still not doing not doing so good today. Is in it? But pardon the losers, uh, one of the decliners today, major decliners today. Um, you would think that uh, the news coming earlier in the week about a possible possible uh, uh, MTN, um, the parent company, selling some of its stake to Nigerian investors would spur investors to want to lap up that stock more. What's your take on what's happening with MTN here? Uh, well, to me, I, it's quite. But uh, if we have. Mainly, was that uh, the market is driven by a uh, 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 force of demand and supply, and that can play a major role in the price movement. If there is a person that actually is desperate to get out of the market, and uh, you see that the volume is not really as uh, substantial as other securities that actually gained today. So the thing is, NTN or the telecoms are actually having a swell time during this lockdown. Because more people are making calls, more people are using data. So it's actually a good time for them, and I would have expected that uh, investors would have analyzed that and position their investment even in that stock, because they are not seeing anything uh, that is different from what they have been doing before. So the, the, kind of, the lockdown, yes, it's affecting everybody. They may not be able to go to work. They are working from home, but they are still posting home with a lot of uh, uh, profit. All right, but looking at another stock here, Dangote Cement, we've seen that stock um, is down about three and a half, forty cover today. Um, um, what's playing out? What, why are people not? Why, why are investors not looking at the way of the Dangote Cement? Uh, well, I think uh, you recall that uh, day before yesterday, it actually came down strongly. Yesterday, it came up strongly, and today we are seeing the same thing. So we are most likely to be seeing the oscillation at about one sixteen, one twenty eight. For quite a while until the definite uh, statement concerning the buyback, because a lot of people are actually looking forward to what is going to be. So, as long as the definite statements are not really out there, people don't really know what for sure. So, a lot are selling off to see whether the price will come much lower than what it is, so they can come back and take uh, more uh, volume. 